Hi, and welcome to the screencast about magic method in PHP. You can find the official documentation at php.net slash manual slash en slash language dot oop 5 dot magic dot php. Uh, please note that the naming convention of a magic method in PHP is that its name begins with a double underscore and also that the magic method should always be public. That said, I'm going to create a new class that I will call magic. I will give it some properties, respectively uh, name set to John and age set to 12. Now I'm going to create a variable called underscore that will instantiate the magic class into a new object. And I'm going to create a string uh, to test that my object has been instantiated successfully. Let's test in a browser. And it works. John is 12 years old. Now let's see our first magic method, which is the constructor. Let's say that every time I want to call my class magic into an object, I want to choose a different name and age that I will set in the instantation. So I'm going to create a method called double underscore construct, expecting the parameters name and age, and setting those to my to be my object properties. And now I'm going to uh, add a parenthesis after my instantation declaration with the parameters I want here, Jack and 30. Let's test in the browser and it works. Jack is 30 years old. Now, now let's say I want to protect my object properties name and age using the protected keyword. Now, if I go back to my browser, it will throw an error because I'm trying to access protected properties, which PHP rightfully sees as an illegal operation. So I'm going to use another magic method called double score, double underscore get, that PHP will call every time an object instantiation is using a protected or not found property. The double underscore get magic method is expecting the key argument. In my function body, I will just allow the protected property to be accessed. And I'll go back to my browser and it works. Now let's imagine at run time after my object has been constructed, I want to change the name's property. Let's say to Peter. PHP will throw an error because I'm trying to set a property that is either protected or not found. In this case, protected. To fix that, I'm going to use another magic method called double score double underscore get waiting for a key and a value and in my function body I will just allow the protected property to be set to the value now I go back to my browser and the new name has been, has been applied Peter Now I'm going to create a regular method called work. Upon calling it, it will display a message. I call the work function in my runtime and back to my brother, you can see the message is successfully displayed. Now I'm going to call a method that hasn't been set. Let's say it. As you can see on the brother, PHP throws an error because you're calling a method that hasn't been set. So we're going to add in a class another magic method called double underscore call. The same as double underscore get that is called every time you're trying to access an unknown property, double underscore call is called when you're calling a method that does not exist. Double underscore uh, call takes two arguments, function and an array of arguments. Function is the name of the method you're trying to call. Here in the function body, I'm just going to display a message saying that this method does not exist. 
and back to my browser and the double underscore call magic method get called successfully. Now we are going to see what happens if I'm trying to echo my object. As you can see, uh, PHP throws a fatal error because echo can only print strings and not objects. To be able to print something every time an object is called as a string, I'm going to use the double underscore to string magic method. This method is expected to return a string. So let's test it in our browser, and it works. Similar to the double uh, underscore uh, two string magic method is the double underscore invoke magic method. This method is going to be called every time you append parentheses to the object uh, instantation variable. The function body, I'm just going to output uh, the name of the object. Test it on the browser, and it works. The last magic method I'm going to show you concerns what happens when your object gets destroys. Destroyed. As you probably know, when PHP has finished executing a script, it destroys all the variables that have been created during runtime, including objects. This is called garbage collection, and its goal is to free memory. And when that happens, if you class as a destructor magic method, it will be called uh, at that moment. It will also be called if you destroy the object yourself during the runtime, which is what I'm going to do here using the unset function. In my function body, I'm just going to echo a message. Let's test it in our browser. And we can see that our destructor magic method has been called upon object and setting. That is all for now, but you can find more PHP magic method at http php.net slash manual slash an slash language dot oop five dot magic dot php thank you Chuta sir et alors voilà